You're Sperp, and just got done watching the first two episodes of American Horror Stories. Not to be confused with American Horror Story, the series that comes on on FX. This is a brand new anthology series, a spinoff series of American Horror Story, where instead of taking one story and fleshing it out over one season, they do individual stories in one season. So... Yeah, man, I think this is a very interesting kind of format for the series. It's been 10 years now. Wow. That American Horror Story has been around. Definitely going to be reviewing Double Feature Season 10 when that comes out. This is a two-part episode. It's called The Rubber Woman. And we get reintroduced or we go back to murder house and i'm like yes you know and this was definitely due to due to nostalgia i don't think they necessarily needed to go back to the very first uh season and go back to murder house but i understand why they did it because you know it's been 10 years and that's where they kind of started this whole series with and rubber man is definitely an og uh ghost in this whole entire um, America Horror Story f world. So we follow this girl named Scarlet. She has two dads. And she really has a hard time getting along with people. She's very socially awkward. Definitely something is going on with Scarlet. She has a lot of trauma. She's even been kidnapped at one point in her life. So that has a lot of traumatic effects to her personality. And I like Scarlet for the most part. I like how they set up her character in part one and where they take her character in part two. Part two was a little iffy for me. There were some things that were interesting that are very American Horror Story-esque. Um... But there's a situation that happens with some of these popular girls. You could kind of see it as like a mean girl effect where there's these four girls that invite her to the slumber party. And Scarlet's finally thinking that, you know, people are starting to come around and accept her. Jokes on her, though, because, you know, those girls did nothing, did, didn't want anything to do with her besides embarrass her in front of, uh, you know their peers and on social media which leads to part two where scarlet wants to get revenge and actually no she got revenge in part one by killing all four girls because she finds the rubber suit and you or you already know when you move into murder house that things start to go upside down you know characters start to get killed left and right that's one thing i will give this uh first two episodes the kill count is very pleasing it's just certain things were kind of weird in part two but then i thought about it it's just like all right how are these ghosts able to move around outside of the house but i forgot that they established they can only move outside of the house on halloween night so i was like okay that makes sense the other things that are kind of goofy in this is that ghosts can use phones now. That That's one thing that kind of took me out of this episode towards the end of it. It kind of started to get a little silly and goofy. There are some things to kind of really like about this, and I want to see where they go with this. This wasn't, These weren't my favorite episodes, but I think they were an okay start to something that has potential to be better than the original series so also before i get out of here we get introduced to a character named ruby that scarlet kind of falls in love with one of the ghosts that lives in the house she explains that just one day she stumbled into the house which it's it's kind of weird how you know they kind of explain ruby's story it, it was just kind of like, yeah, I showed up, killed myself, didn't know that I was going to be trapped here the rest of my life. I would have liked to see other ghosts because there's other spirits still in that house. Um, 
obviously we don't see violet we don't see um any of the original cast i don't i need to go back and rewatch season one to see what happened with that because i feel like they're probably still at that house if we go back to apocalypse there it, it doesn't make sense why they wouldn't pop up probably due to scheduling or whatever the hell but that's just a little nitpick of mine so going back to ruby's character she's pretty much kind of like the bodyguard of scarlet because the four girls that she killed in this house are trying to kind of get revenge but eventually it just becomes anticlimactic at the end where they kind of um let bygones be bygones and just kind of go their separate ways scarlet is the only one able to leave the house i don't know it was just really weird i was expecting just everybody to kind of just die in that house especially scarlet but she's still out there you know being the rubber woman you know going around killing people um getting revenge on uh getting revenge on scarlet uh not scarlet ruby's uncle you know that was interesting i think a little bit random at times too like i said it's weird that you're able to call that house or that ruby even has a phone that you could communicate with the dead with it's just it really kind of lost me at that point overall i think this whole series has potential to be something unique i kind of wish they would have stayed away from murder house um i do like the fact that they are exploring stories within seasons that we've seen hopefully we get new characters and new stories uh throughout this and they don't just rely on past seasons like uh asylum or coven and stuff like that i want to see new villains new characters new monsters new ghosts new mythos let me know how you guys feel about these first two episodes did it really hit with you um are you excited to see where this goes let me know your thoughts till next time i'm out